there's a lot of these fake ultra fire batteries floating around on the internet uh, most of them are on eBay that's where I got these from these are the blue ultra fire LC18650 3800 milliamp hour 3.7 volt lithium ion um, 3800 that's uh, that's pretty fake <laughs> if you look at some of the other videos on YouTube you will see that many people have actually taken these batteries apart and uh, what they find inside is a much smaller battery uh, and the the rest of the empty space inside here is filled with like a, a flower or some kind of powder like that um, many people have also tested these batteries there's a few people on YouTube that also have these videos that where they charge them up and then discharge them to get the few the the true voltage or the true capacity rather um, of these batteries and that's exactly what I did here um, I have a lithium-ion <clears throat> charger this is uh, normally used for my AR drone uh, but what I did was I used it to charge up one of these batteries um, it was only able to accept a half an amp charge um, and it took about 40 minutes to charge uh, reaching the 4.2 volt maximum and the total capacity detected by this charger is 301 milliamp hour okay and um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna discharge this battery and uh, I'm gonna see what this charger comes back with let's see if it's any higher than 301 milliamp that's pretty low but I'm not surprised um, and this is how I know these batteries were fake um, first off I have all four of these batteries in a portable portable charger I don't know how to pronounce this Ailey Ailey I also got this on eBay um, it's a pretty decent little charger uh, you know, you just put a couple of these 18650 batteries in there. You could put anywhere between one and four. Uh, they're connected in parallel. Um, so you don't have to have them all filled up necessarily. Um, but theoretically, if I combine all these 3800 milliamp hour batteries, I should have quite a significant amount of power to charge my cell phone several times. Um, and that's just not the case. Uh, fully charged, these batteries will only charge up my cell phone in this charger only about 9%. And I, okay, so I have an HTC One. It's a fairly new phone. Uh, it's got like a 1700 milliamp battery, I think. 1800 or something like that. Um, so 3800 that's labeled on these batteries is way off. I'm going to go ahead and do a discharge now and uh, see what this thing comes back with. All right, so I just started the discharge. It's been going for about 20 seconds, um, discharging it at one amp. And from 4.2 volts, it jumps straight down to 3.24 volts. Uh, these batteries are just terrible. Um, let's give it a few minutes and uh, let's see what kind of milliamp hours this uh, comes back with. All right, so I accidentally cleared what was on the screen, but it finished discharging, and it... And uh, it ended at 201 milliamp hours. Uh, once it finished discharging at one amp, all the way down to three volts. Um, so I'm gonna do it on another battery. I'm gonna charge it up. I'm gonna completely discharge this one and then charge it back up and see what kind of uh, see what kind of reading milliamp hours I get out of this one. All right, got my multimeter connected to this battery, and uh, it's reading 3.66 6 volts, 67. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and discharge it, and then charge it back up, and we'll go from there. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and charge it back up to 4.2 volts. And then from there, I'm going to discharge it all the way down to 3 volts. So let's go ahead and do that. Put this on charge, 1 amp, 3.7 volts. A 
Okay, so the battery's not fully discharged. So this milliamp hour rating right here is not going to be totally accurate. Uh, but once we discharge it, we'll see what that number is. So let's let this go. I'm, I'm estimating probably another 30 to 40 minutes for this. All right, this one just finished charging. Um, let's see. Took 61 and a half minutes. This one came out to 487 milliamp hours, um, which is, you know, it's a little bit better than the other one, but still nowhere near the 3800 like it shows on the actual battery. And I'm not surprised once again. Uh, this is pretty typical for these piece of crap Chinese um, 18650 batteries from eBay. So, um, my suggestion. Uh, from what I've learned uh, with these batteries is don't buy anything that has fire on it, ultra fire, trust fire, any kind of fire. Just don't get it. Stick with the ones that are um, from Sanyo, Sony, Panasonic, or LG. Uh, there's a few other ones, but those four brands um, can usually be trusted uh, on eBay. Look for the sellers that... Um, actually mentioned that they've tested the batteries they meet a certain type of capacity standard uh you know they offer some kind of guarantee you know if it's from china just just be careful if it's from the u.s um you know usually that's a little bit more safe but um you know so that's that just definitely don't get these uh ultra fire batteries from ebay uh this is just not the way to go.